You know what I'm saying? I don't have to see the tape. Because this shit been going on for so long. I mean, everybody know what the fuck happened to the boy. The pecker boy had it in his mind already to, to kill the boy. You see what I'm saying? And when listen here, when a motherfucker know somebody gon' is trying to kill them. You feel what I'm saying? When you already know deep down in your motherfucking heart that a nigga try and he got heat. You understand what I'm saying? It's really only two motherfucking options that that you got. Either you going to run or you going to try to boss up on this nigga. Now, if you, you know, but it's a chance to try to take something from a nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Them odds is not in, in your favor, though. Many niggas have, you know, you might have to take one to get the motherfucker. But you going to take it. Is you prepared to do that? So it's chances that you taking to try to take something out of a motherfucking hand. You understand what I'm saying? So it was already in this peck of woods hard in mind to kill the boy. And so when the boy realized that the cracker was going to kill him, he, you know what I'm saying? He tried to, you know, stop this shit from going down. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't plug the boy. He didn't, he didn't plug the boy. You know what I'm saying? And so when the boy running, shit, he, he bleeding, he hurting and shit. You didn't took a motherfucking bullet. And so he can't keep running. God damn it, it's time to have medical attention at this motherfucking time. So the boy turns around. Like, I can't run no more. And when the boy turns around, he executes the boy. He shot the boy. It's clear as day. The boy ain't got no goddamn gun. But these pecker woods always want to act like they so motherfucking hard. Be a motherfucking man. Take a ass whooping bitch. You know what I'm saying? You the motherfucking police. You want what you get on the force. You it, What it really boils down to is that the police is a bunch of whole ass motherfuckers. The niggas too. They not really ready. The boy was ready to... If he would have took the mother, the boy would have choked the motherfucker. Reality check. Okay, man to man. Be a man. Take an ass whooping. That's how my motherfucking daddy, that's how real niggas was raised up. Nigga, go to these. And if you take the L, nigga, you, you took it like a man. Nigga, you, you at least you defended yourself or you know what I'm saying? But be a man. This is what we was taught how to be a man. Put your motherfucking, so the boy didn't have no pistol. So he's a bitch motherfucker, man. You going to kill a man? That's execution. If you know it's not murder, it's execution. When you know a man has no weapon and you got a firearm, you know that could take that man's life with one bullet and you shoot him. Open with his hands open. You have executed that man. Not murder. He executed that boy. Okay, so for that fuck-ass nigga Ray Hagen, he don't know that boy. He gonna go on and say the boy was high. Bitch, who the fuck is, did you smoke the blunt with him? And even if he was, God damn it, is that an excuse to take that boy like just because he, you got crackers all over the motherfucking country getting high like a motherfucker. So if getting high was an excuse to motherfucking kill a motherfucker. Half the peck of woods in America would be dead right motherfucking now. You was a whole ass nigga, Ray Hagen. You was, the, you was a whole ass nigga to sit up there and try to assassinate that boy's character like you did. You was a whole ass nigga for that. You know, you can't speak on no another man like that, man. And talk down on that man as if you was dead. You act like you actually have spite in your heart for the young black man. The way you, and so I, you know, as I go around the country, I mean, a large percentage of the revolution, revolutionary community is young G's that look just like Michael Brown. You see what I'm saying? So now the question becomes, how many motherfuckers have he been profiling? I don't give a fuck about him profiling me. I don't give a fuck because I, 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 motherfuckers know who I am. You know what I'm saying? 
And so I don't give a fuck, you know? And I always and I always keep it 100 any motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck cuz I stand on truth and righteousness. I don't flee. I run to the fire. You see what I'm saying? Cuz I got truth on my side. And so for that man to talk to the community like that, he have no respect for y'all. He don't fear y'all. And them police don't fear y'all. You know why? Because y'all allowed for him to stay in that position for so fucking long and y'all had not ousted him yet. Okay? And even looking at the video where Sean Bay had cut into the motherfucker about his comments on Michael Brown, you can see niggas out in the court. In, in, in the crowd, still backing Ray Hagen. So they have split this community. So he didn't already damage the motherfucking community. He didn't already, to a certain extent, damage the community. Now niggas want to oust the motherfucker. He should have been ousted long ago. He didn't already set landmines all through the motherfucking community. So, this see, but because people might have, you know, they might have a gripe with me. Just because I cut into Ray Hagen, they won't, they won't move on the fact just because they think they spite me. That's bitch shit. That's bitch shit, and that's the reality. The fact was the, the information that I gave was 100% right and exact. And when I ran into him, I ran into the peck of wood too. I didn't, I didn't cr just crack the Ray Hagen's head. I cracked the white boy uh, Spazelli's head too. I, I cracked both they motherfucking head. I didn't hide behind them. This peck of wood is his master. You understand what I'm saying? They all behind the scene, buddy, buddy. They got an oath. To the fraternal order of police, they got a blue coal uh, 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 conduct where they don't ever trade on they they police brothers. Okay, that's it. That's that. And so he had more loyalty to the police than he got to the African community because he didn't speak as one of us. He spoke as one of them. That's shameful. And y'all sat there. Y'all should have. Fucking got up and started throwing chairs at his ass. Y'all should have emptied the motherfucking room. And then when the brother Sean Bay came in there and made it a, a legitimate statement about some inflammatory remarks he made about Michael Brown, that community should have given that, that brother an opportunity to speak his piece. But you niggas always fleeing from confrontation. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we dealing with. And, and so Ray Hagen's is a symptom of a, a much larger a problem going on in the community. It's a clear distinction between the slave and the slave master. That's 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 just clear. It shouldn't be no argument about that. Okay, no house niggas should be out in the field listening to our most personal aspirations to be free. You niggas ain't, you know, I don't know what it's going to take, but I can see in Ferguson that to see the revolution is once again, the flame is sparking, you know, and, I, you know, and I'm so glad to see that. But we cannot, again, just like what they're going to do. They're going to go out there and send a bunch of moles, a bunch of co uh, uh, covert agents to, uh, to uh, you know, to hide amongst the people. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, spark unnecessary beefs. You understand? Spark shit that, that'll cause the police to come in and do... Uh, uh, unnecessary damage to the community. And so we, we got to smarten the fuck up about this. You know what I'm saying? So 
uh, Ray Hagen out. He been out of my motherfucking camp. Anybody that fuck with Saw Rasul said he ain't been fucking with Ray Hagen at all. So when they say putting Ray Hagen out, what part of the community is you niggas a part of? Because he been out of the, my motherfucking community. When me and Baba Quasi talk, man, we been spitting fire on that motherfucker for the last five years. I talked to him yesterday, goddammit, and it sounded like when he first started this shit. We ain't never let up off that bitch. At all.